Okay, kids, come through. Uh, wash your head there. Um, okay, hi everyone, and welcome to the contemporary, vibrant Roman baths of Barchester. Now, um, this is the main bathhouse. What's the first thing you notice about it? It's so big. Yeah, it's big, but what leaps out at you? The mosaics. Yeah, they're nice, but the main thing you notice, I expect, is how much it looks like a swimming pool today. Yeah, a bit. A lot. It's rectangular, like our pools are rectangular, and it's filled with warm water, which is the same as what we use today. And that's no coincidence. You see, these baths were basically exactly like today's leisure centres, and they're a great example of how the Romans were just like us, and not all historical and boring, like you might think. And as well as this pool, which is like our pools that we have now, they would also have had saunas, yeah, like we have saunas, and plunge pools, like our plunge pools, and even changing rooms. Yes! Like we have. <laughs> the changing in. Even though we're now, and they were then, they still had them like we do now. Incredible, eh? And didn't they also have slaves to rub them with oil? Yes, they did, yes. But, but then that's basically, that's a bit like a treatment room today, isn't it? Like a spa day, like we have. And that's not all. Uh, there was this Roman guy, okay, called uh, Seneca, who was uh, basically their equivalent of a blogger. And... <laughs> Uh, this is what he said. Um, no bath is without the fool who jumps into the waters. <laughs> that sounds familiar, doesn't it? You see, what I'm saying is people still do that now, don't they? In swimming pools, like the ones you go to today. Not in Roman Britain, but now. But they did it in Roman Britain too, so nothing's changed. But that's exciting. <laughs> What's that? What? A big stone thing through there. It's not important. But what is it, though? OK, fine, that's the altar on which the bathhouse priests sacrifice sheep to the goddess Minerva and use the entrails to predict the future. Oh, yeah, yeah, but look what they carved on the altar. It's an owl. And we have owls today. 